Hey guys, it's Rebecca. So you can see I've cut my hair. So it was just a random decision. Like one day I came back from my university and I was like, yeah, I want a short hair. So then I just took the scissors and I cut it off. And it doesn't look that good, but it's fine. I'm happy with it. So yeah, let's talk about today's video. So today I'll be talking about a book. I'm gonna do a book review and I'm gonna talk about The Catcher in the Rye by J.D. Salinger, if that's how it's pronounced. And I did not like this book. So I know it's a quite popular book. It's a classic and it's been on my TBR for, for some time, but I was not planning to pick it up. And I read this and I read this book last year in the month of wait in the month of August so technically when I don't like a book I hardly remember the plot so that's the thing with this book so I don't remember the plot properly but I know the reasons why I hated this book so now why did I pick up this book so for those of you who know me know that I don't pick up classics classics I mean I'm not a huge fan of classics but then um my cousin she loves classics and then we buddy read the sun is also a star which is a contemporary romance so that we buddy read after like we were reading a book together after a long time so she want when we read a book of my choice she wanted us to read a classic together because i don't tend to read them so then i was we like shortlist then came I mean and chose the catcher in the eye and the fun, funny thing is that I read it and she didn't she just read she just read one or two page and then she just DNF'd it I too wanted to DNF it but I'm a person who hate DNFing I know I, I need to work on it but yeah I'm not too comfortable in DNFing, DNFing books so I just pushed myself to finish that book but Surprisingly, that's the only classic also that I finished in a short time, even though I hated it. So, yeah. Now, talking about the book, I completely forgot the plot. So, I had to look it up. And, yeah, some things came into my head. So, basically, this book is about a 16-year-old boy called Holder, who is expelled from his school. And then he leaves his house and wanders around in the New York City, if I'm not wrong and uh yeah he encounters few other things so now the problem for me with i literally i would have given it like 0.5 stars but yeah i gave it a one star and the only character that i liked in this book was phoebe which is his sister but she, you know i didn't like her enough to give this book a lot of rating and she didn't have like a major major role to play in the book so the like i have a huge list of things why i didn't like this book the first thing that i had problem with was his way of thinking like he thinks very very high about himself okay so i hate characters like that now i'm not telling that the character should be like you know humble down to a person if you're like thinking too high about yourself i feel he, that person should be charismatic as well and which is which holder is not and another thing is that like if you're like an example for that is like i really like jace and will from the shadow hunter Chron chronicles and they like you know they think too high about themselves in the sense they think they are handsome the most handsome people in the whole big world they are the heron deals and all of it but the thing is they don't think low of all the others okay so they give equal respect to the other to others so that doesn't affect me a lot and in fact that character just makes me like them and it just makes me smile when i read that okay but the thing with holder is that he not only really thinks that he's very like you know high kind of person but he considers every other person as dumb okay he literally says that other people are lousy and phony and like what i mean he considers himself as this perfect guy but i don't think that he is that's the first problem the second problem is the writing and language i didn't didn't like the writing at all of the author 
I did and it was it was not this old classic type of writing but still I didn't like it and there was in every other sentence a goddamn or a boy in it okay like in every other sentence and I didn't like it it was too repetitive for me so yeah I didn't like it and another thing and the final thing is that I hate like I can't say I didn't like the main character you know very rarely there are cases where I hate the character and it tends to be the villain of a book and even then I don't hate them sometimes I am sometimes I empathize with them sometimes I just you know feel sad for them or sometimes I just don't like them or I just get frustrated by them but you know I hated him you know when I read Harry Potter I like you know the character of Umbridge she frustrated me a lot like a lot I would have literally torn the book into pieces that's how much she frustrated me and this main character his Umbridge was like she was supposed to be the villain she was the villain so that's understandable but he is the main character and he didn't work for me I hated him hated him I I think it will it will be close I mean like almost I think maybe equal to how much I hated Umbridge or even more only that I mean only that's how much I hated his character okay it was not done well at all I mean there are people who really like this book and yeah I don't know I don't speak for them but I speak for myself and I didn't like this book at all i rated this book a one star maybe if you can say i i, I gave it a if there was a 0.5 rating system in the goodreads i would have given 0.5 to that book because no that book wasn't for me if you have read this book let me know about your thoughts about this book you you would have liked it then let me know why do you like it and how come you liked it so that's it for today guys thank you guys for watching my video meet you guys in my next video bye